many times you find yourself doing things that you learned from watching mom or dad, and That's then you go, sure. I'm turning into my parents. That's so I say that a lot. <laughs> a local coach trying the job for the first time is finding a new connection with his father. Don's back with that story. This is a pretty cool one, guys. Uh, Tyler Callender missed playing baseball. That's why when his friend called and asked him if he wanted to coach at Council Rock South, he jumped at the opportunity. However, the new job goes well beyond strikeouts and base hits. Pat Gallen has more. Tyler Callender is keeping a close eye on his players for Council Rock South. But even Callender will tell you for the former Council Rock North star, switching sides in the North South rivalry was tough. When he first gave me the apparel and the hat, it was no photos, all right? We're just getting used to this, but um, very quickly, very quickly do you get over that. This is the first year of coaching for Calendar after a long and successful high school and college career at Council Rock North and the University of Delaware. I told some of the guys, it's like a, there's a portion of my brain that's been non-existent for the last four years since college, and it's, and it's back. <laughs> He's following in the footsteps of his father, local coaching legend Jack Calendar, who passed away from cancer in 2012 when Tyler was only 14. But even while he was sick, he was still coaching. He was uh, pretty deep into chemotherapy and radiation, and he couldn't make it to one of my games, and he knew I was struggling. He sent me a text on, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it today, but I think if you do this, this, and this, you're going to have a great game. Love your biggest fan. And uh, my first pitch of the game, I hit a home run. Tyler says the new experience has connected him more with his dad. I didn't really understand it until I started being around the kids and working with them and the, the relationships that you get to develop. It's kind of made me understand the relationships that he had with other people and the impact that he might have made on their lives and seeing that it, it, it's like a remembrance of him. This is what he loved to do and if there's anything that I could do it's to carry on his legacy. For Tyler, who grew up watching his dad coach, he says he thinks about him a lot during games. It goes back to what would dad said to me? What would dad said to one of the guys on the team? What was what would the what would what would he say? You know? Um, and it's I thought about it the other day. It's almost like my textbook. <laughs> I go back to my textbook. Pat Gallant for CBS Sports Philadelphia. Mm, good stuff. Yes, Family indeed. matters, man. That's no great. No doubt about it. I can relate. What would he say? I think about it all the time. Yeah. All right, buddy, thank you.